Hey everybody, it's Jake Bullshit Corner, and welcome to another Jeep TJ video. Today's video, we are going to install the super bright LED LEDs into the dash and HVAC controls. I haven't got the ones for underneath for the uh, shifter and the uh, switch controls, but I'm just going to try these ones out first. If I like them, I'm going to complete the set. So, here's the part numbers. Okay, for the here's the part numbers, Neo 4B for blue, and three of those are polarized, so if they don't work, you have to flip them around, and these ones are for the dash, 12 volts, polarized blue, and that's the number right there, T15BHP. So let's get going to install these. Get the dash, so I just put a screwdriver in this trim cap, I already got it off. And then we can, once that's done, to remove the vents, there's two Phillips screws right there, remove them, and then you just pull it right out. The HVAC controls are just held in by four Phillips. I lost one a long time ago, so I only got three left. It's kind of dark, but your HVAC controls, your lights are right there, right there, and right there. And it's just a matter of, I don't know if this Phillips might be too big. You have to get something smaller to get it in there. All right, so there's the uh, blue LEDs in there, and they're right, they are polarized, so when you're putting them in, if they don't light up, you got them in backwards. So they're like a twist and pull out. So the next step is to remove the dash and get those ones out. Okay, there's two bolts on top for the dash. They can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get to, but they're right up top here. So let me just get those ones out. There's one there, and then there's one, one here, and one there. Okay, I lied, the trim actually has three up top. And then two in the bottom corners. That looks like it's held in by four Phillips. One there, one there, one there, one there. We're gonna pull that out. Yeah, the cluster wires can be a little short, so for small hands come in handy to pull it out. So now we got our cluster, so let's go put our new bulbs in and then see how many we got in backwards because I did the HVAC controls the first time, I had them all in backwards. Zero for three. And see how many out of five I can get here. These ones here are the same. Turn them and pull them out. See all the factory bulbs that came out have a little blue lens cap on them. And the LED should make a really nice improvement. Alright, here's my new one. So let's go start sticking them in. Well, I got... Two out of five in wrong, so now let's assemble everything back together and then I'll close the garage door so we can get a better look at them in the dark. So here it is with the blue LEDs. I kind of like the light it gives. Your needles are a little harder to read, of course. That's the only downfall I'm, got, I'm seeing right now. But the, um, but the HVAC controls and everything looks all right. Alright, it's beer time. I'm going to end my video on installing the super bright LED lights. Uh, they turned out okay. I think I might replace the dash ones with ultra white instead. Only because um, those needles might be a little hard to see at night time. Not that it really matters, but just for safety precaution. Just because, I just might do it, but leave the other ones blue. And yeah, that's all I got to say, it's beer time. That mod is pretty quick and easy, like it'll actually take you, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half to do just because it's a little bit of work disconnecting all your dash and shit like that, getting it out, and then they're polarized uh, bulbs, so if you got them in the wrong way, they won't light, so anyways, I'm going to leave my video at that. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.